everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this Trinity beanie, which is the hat that uh, you see here. This hat was designed f as part of a guest blog post on the Underground Crafter. So you can find the more photos of this hat as well as the full written tutorial on the Underground Crafter blog and uh, I will provide the direct link for you there in the description of this video. The hat that we're going to be making today is this one right here. I'll just zoom back there a little bit for you. It is a snug fitting beanie hat and it's made with a super bulky weight yarn, which means that this hat works up fairly quick. You're only going to need about 100 yards of a super bulky weight yarn. And I'm going to be using this Sugar Bush Chill, which is a 100% wool yarn. It's a roving yarn, so it's very loosely spun. The color I'm going to be using is called Lazuli, if you're looking for it. You're also going to need, for this pattern, you're going to need two different crochet hooks. You're going to need an 8 millimeter crochet hook, which is what you're going to use for the brim of your hat. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook that you will use for the hat body. The hat is worked from the bottom up, so we're going to start by learning how to crochet the ribbing, uh, ribbed brim of this hat. I'm so happy that you have joined me, and uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe and uh, check out some of the other videos that are on this channel. This channel is updated weekly, every Sunday with a free stitch tutorial, and as well uh, with free crochet patterns as I have them available. So uh, I'm going to grab my hook and my yarn and we'll get started. If you are new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and as well check out some of the other videos that are here. This channel is updated weekly every Sunday with a free stitch tutorial and then with free crochet patterns as I have them available. So as I mentioned, we're going to start working from the bottom of the hat, which is the brim. I'm going to start using our eight millimeter crochet hook and your yarn. The brim of the hat is worked in rows. You're going to start by making a slip knot and you're going to, using your eight millimeter hook, chain five. For row one, you're going to slip stitch into the second chain from your hook, working in the back loop only. And you're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. So to find your back loop only, if you take a look at the top of your chain, you're going to see these little V's and the horizontal bars here. The horizontal bar you're going to be working under is this one that is furthest away from you. So into that back loop only, you're going to slip stitch into that second chain from your hook, and then in each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to continue working in the back loop only and you're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across for row two. So in your brim you're going to have a total of four slip stitches. If you do not like working a slip stitch brim you can certainly change this to single crochet stitches or even half double crochet stitches. I just like the snugness of a slip stitch brim. Once you have come to the end of your row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And you're now going to repeat row two slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. And you're going to continue to repeat that row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 19 inches. The hat does fit an adult, so 20 to 21 inches, but you'll work your brim to 19 
just because the brim has quite a little bit of stretch to it. So continue to repeat that, working in the back loop only, until your brim from the beginning measures 19 inches, and then meet me back here. Once you have your 19 inches of br uh, brim finished, you're going to continue work uh, using your eight millimeter crochet hook and you're going to fold the brim of the hat in half so that your two smaller ends are going to meet. We're now going to work in our back loops only and you're going to slip stitch working through both thicknesses all the way across. So you can chain one and then slip stitch in the back loop and our back loop and you're going to slip stitch all the way across. So once again you're going to have four slip stitches and this is just going to seam our brim together. Oops. Once you have done that, you're going to turn your brim so that it's right side out. You want that seam to be on the inside, and then it should be nice and secure there together. You can see that this has quite a bit of stretch, which is nice. We're now going to work along this outer edge of the brim, and we're going to work 48 half double crochet stitches into the brim. So there is no even places to put your stitches, so you're just going to put them where it feels comfortable for you, 48 half double crochet stitches. If you find it easier, you can place a stitch marker about halfway around and work half your stitches on one side and then half your stitches on the other side. So you've chained one, I'm going to tuck my tail here on the other side and work over top of it and work 48 half double crochet stitches. When you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you have worked your 48 half double crochet stitches all the way around your brim, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And you can then set your eight millimeter crochet hook aside and pick up that 10 millimeter and place it on your hook. We're now going to uh, continue on using our 10 millimeter crochet hook and we're going to start working this Trinity stitch pattern. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to chain one and you're going to work a single crochet two together into the first two stitch stitches. So you're going to insert your hook into that first stitch which is the same stitch as you're joining. Yarn over and drop a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. That's your single crochet two together. Chain one, and you're now going to work a single crochet three together, beginning the stitch in the last stitch that you just worked your single crochet two together. So for your single crochet three together, insert your hook into the same stitch as your previous stitch yarn over, drop a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, insert your hook into one more stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. With four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. You're then going to chain one. You're now going to repeat that single crochet three together all the way around your brim. So always starting in the same stitch as the last leg of your previous stitch, you're going to start your single crochet three together. Then continue into the next two stitches. Yarn over, pull through all loops and chain one. Repeat that all the way around. Insert your hook into the same stitch as the last, there's one, two, 
three, yarn over, pull through all four loops. I single crochet three together and chain one. Continue to do that all the way around. And when you come back to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch and turn your work. I'm now working my final stitch of my second round here. And then I'm going to chain one and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working our Trinity stitch and we're going to start by working a single crochet two together over the first single crochet two together and the chain one space. So into that first stitch, which is your same stitch as joining, insert your hook and draw the loop. And then into that chain stitch. So right into the center, it's going to form the center of this little star. So into the center of that chain stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw the loop. You've now three loops on your hook for your single crochet two together, yarn over and pull through all three. You're then going to chain one and we're going to work our single crochet three togethers beginning in the last chain space, chain stitch that we just worked. So again, into, this, into that chain stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, into the next single crochet three together, insert your hook and yarn over, and then into your next chain stitch, insert your hook, the chain stitches can be tight, yarn over and draw the loop. Yarn over, pull through all four, and chain one. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. So into your chain stitch, your single crochet three together, into the top of the next stitch, into the chain stitch, it's the last leg, yarn over, pull through all four, and chain one. So continue to do that all the way around. And then when you come back to the beginning, as you did before, join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch, chain one and turn your work. Three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one and turn your work. Now for the next four rounds, so for rounds four through to seven, you are simply going to repeat that last round that you just worked. So repeat round three for the next four rounds. So start with your chain one, insert your hook into that same stitch as joining for your single crochet two together, insert your hook into that chain stitch, yarn over with three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three, and chain one, and now you're going to work your single crochet three togethers all the way around. So you're going to, uh, as I said, work your round three four more times. So you wanna have a total of six rounds of those Trinity stitches. At the end of your round seven, so at the end of your six rounds of Trinity stitches, you're going to join with a slip stitch meet me back here and then we are going to start our decrease rounds. Once you have completed round seven, you're going to have a hat that looks like this and we are now going to start the first of our decrease rounds. So for round eight, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. We're now going to work a series of single crochet four togethers all the way around. So you're going to insert your hook into the same stitches joining as you did before. The first leg, yarn over, draw up a loop. Insert your hook into that chain stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Insert your hook into the top of the next uh, single crochet three together, 
yarn over, draw up a loop, and then one more time into the next chain stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. So once you have your single crochet four together, you'll have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops. Chain one. You're now going to repeat beginning in the last stitch that you worked in. So insert your hook. We'll work a single crochet four together. There's one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through all five loops, and chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way around your beanie, and you should notice that it uh, makes that top a little bit smaller, the opening. And uh, when you come back around to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and uh, chain one and turn your work. For round nine, you're going to work another decrease round. This time we're going to work a single crochet five together. So insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. You're going to do that four more times once in the chain stitch, then in the top of your next stitch, and that's three, into the chain stitch for four, and into the top of the next stitch for five. You'll have six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops and chain one. You're going to continue to repeat that all the way around, starting in the last stitch that you just worked, a single crochet five, together. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over and pull through all. Continue that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For your 10th and final round, you're going to work one more round of five single, uh, single crochet five together, starting in that same stitch as joining. There's one, two, three, four, five, pull through all and chain one. You're going to do that all the way around at the top of your hat. done here. Chain one and then you can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and you're going to fasten off leaving a long tail. like so. You're then going to take a yarn needle, and I'll just show it to you quickly here. So fasten off, leaving a bit of a long tail. You're then going to take your yarn needle, and we're going to sew the top of our hat closed. To close the top of my hat, see it here? I simply took my needle and I wove in and out through the stitches like so. It will create a little bit of a drawstring. Then 
and stuck it inside my hat, pulled my hat a little bit inside out like so. And then you're just going to pull that hole close. Fasten off. I can pull my needle through. <laughs> it's stuck. Try here. Oh well. <laughs> I won't show you in the video, but simply you're just gonna weave in and out with your needle in your thread and hopefully it will pull there we go and then you're going to fasten off and weave in your ends and then you will have completed your trinity beanie there's the top of it so thank you so much for joining me and once again i invite you to subscribe and uh, check out some of the other videos here on my channel thank you so much and until next time happy crocheting Bye.